I'm going to make a delicious beetroot and lentil salad. And usually when you're roasting beetroot or steaming them, they take at least an hour, especially when they're this large. But I'm gonna be cooking them in the pressure cooker and they're only gonna take 30 minutes to steam. So I've placed them into the basket. I've put a little water in the base of the pressure cooker and we're going to pop them in there. Okay, we're going to place the lid on and lock it. Not only is it going to time it, but it's also gonna tell us when it comes to pressure so we can turn the heat down. So we'll set this to 30 minutes and turn the heat on. Okay, while that's cooking, let's get on to a really quick vinaigrette, a tahini vinaigrette. So delicious with beetroot and with the lentils. So a few generous spoonfuls of tahini into a bowl. along with some Greek style yogurt. Again, a few generous spoonfuls of that. We'll give that a mix. And tahini, when it's mixed with yogurt and then the addition of acidity, I'm gonna be adding some lemon. It will thicken up a bit, but don't worry. You can always thin it out with some water. So in with our lemon and I'll cut that in half. I'll start with half a lemon. Squeeze all that juice in there and we'll have a taste just to make sure that it's nicely balanced. Mm. Oh, that is perfect. No need for extra lemon for this, but we do need some salt, a generous pinch of salt. Mm, so good. And some pepper. And I always like to add a splash of extra virgin olive oil. Now for me, it is a little too thick because I do want to be able to drizzle this over the salad at the end. So what I like to do is add the water now. So about a tablespoon. And we'll give it a last stir. Okay, the vinaigrette is done. All we need to do now is wait for the beetroot to finish cooking. Once they're cooked, I'll allow them to cool and in that time, I'll quickly cook some lentils. The lentils are only going to take 15 minutes. Okay, the beetroot are cooked. I've allowed them to cool. You know that the beetroot is cooked when you can pierce it with a knife and it goes in quite easily. See that? Perfectly cooked beetroot. Now I've cleaned out the pressure cooker and we can quickly cook our lentils. So in they go. I like to use pui lentils for this. And we're going to cover them with plenty of water. Great. Pui lentils are the best for this because they do hold their shape during the cooking process. So we'll pop that on and we'll set that for 15 minutes. And while they're cooking, I can peel the beetroot and cut them into eight chunks. And I always like to use gloves for this because they definitely stain your fingers. Okay, my lentils are cooked and I've allowed them to cool slightly. I'm just placing them onto a large platter, just like this one. I haven't seasoned them yet, so we'll add a pinch of salt. And this is a composed salad, so it's all about layers. So we do need to season it and oil it at each stage. So extra virgin olive oil over our beautiful lentils. And you can see how they've kept their shape, but they're still quite tender, just perfect. Now for the beetroot that I've sliced into wedges, we also do need to season it slightly and oil it. So olive oil and a good amount of salt, freshly cracked pepper. I'll add three quarters of this sumac. So majority of that can go in. I'll grab two spoons and give that a toss. This just simply with olive oil, parsley, garlic and balsamic vinegar, just delicious. All right, now we're going to place these on top of our lentils. So we'll just grab them with the tongs and arrange them. And how good is the colour contrast on this? So delicious.
Okay. Now for the yogurt dressing, we'll drizzle that over the top. <sighs> Looks good. And for some crunch, some walnuts that I'll just break over the top. And now I'll add some capers for some saltiness, along with a small amount of feta that I'll just crumble over the top. This is definitely one of those wow salads. There's so much going on, so many different layers. And finally, some parsley, and I'm just gonna pick the leaves over the top. And one last little glug of extra virgin olive oil. Awesome, a delicious salad. You know, usually it'd take one hour to cook your beetroot, 30 minutes to cook the lentils. This all up takes 45 minutes. And wow, look at that salad. That is a salad to impress all of you guests.